to KUAM Sports, thanks for watching. I have some programming news to pass along to you in just a bit. But first off, some running news along with your Dial Rent to Own Athlete of the Week. Check it out. We're here at Dial Rent to Own Mingila for our Dial Rent to Own Athlete of the Week. Today we have basketball player Rashawn Bloss, and he'll present him with a check is Ernie. Ernie? Hey, Rashawn, thank you very much for winning Dial uh, Athlete of the Week. Who are you giving this to? I'm um, going to donate this check to American Cancer Society. All right, Rashawn, you've been uh, busy with uh, sports here on the island for the past couple of months. Uh, you recently helped uh, the George Washington Geckos win their first ever high school basketball championship. Uh, you played football for the Geckos, scored four touchdowns in the championship game, almost helping them win a IFL title. But recently you helped the Tumwinning Typhoons one win the championship title in the 18 and under division uh, against one of your fellow club teams, uh, the, the Typhoons, too. How did you guys match up uh, in that game? Uh, we tried to like match up by um, trying to press them up, slow them up, because they only had like six players trying to run them out. And then we tried to use our speed with Sam and Sammy up top, try to like get the rebound and just throw it down to them on the runs. So then we just outrun their team. They just, I guess they couldn't keep up with us. Yeah, you guys faced them a couple of times during the regular season. Uh, how did those matchups turn out for you guys? Um, it was good. To, um, we played them about three or four times, and we think we they beat us in one. And we just try to like see what what we did wrong in the other games. Try to make try to fix up our mistakes and I guess pull it off in the last game. Yeah, that championship game, you guys were pretty uh, consistent shooting the ball from the outside, setting up your inside game. Uh, tell us about that championship game, and what do you think it was that helped you guys pull off that win? i say it was our defense. Like, we were, I think, right off the back, we were pressing them. And they think they had, like, three or four turnovers right off the back and just gave us the lead, and we just held the lead throughout the game. All right, uh, heading into this year's champion, or uh, this year's uh, boys basketball season, you guys are defending champs. Uh, what's the road like going to be to you guys uh, getting back to that championship status? Uh, it's not going to be uh, that easy. We're going to have to work a little bit harder and show what we have, and hopefully we can win another one. All right, congratulations. Stay tuned to our next Dar Rent to Own Athlete of the Week. KUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... In running news, make sure to come out and show your support for the Spirit Run 2013 5K Run Walk tomorrow morning at Epau Beach Park. Showtime for the run is set for 5.15 with a go time scheduled for 6. If you haven't pre-registered for the run, the cost will be $10 per person at the race. Make sure to cast some NFL on NBC this Sunday, January 6th on the stations of KUAM. We get things started at 7 in the morning with Football Night in America. Then at 7.30, it's the first of two games, the NFL wildcard playoff game number one in the Cincinnati Bengals, led by Andy Dalton, take the trip to Texas to face Matt Schaub and the Houston Texans. At 10.30, you can watch the NFL Bridge Show. Then at 11, it's the NFL wildcard playoff game number two. Adrian Peterson leads the Minnesota Vikings to battle as they head to Green Bay to take on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Then on Monday, January 7th, it's NFL on CBS, KUAM TV 11. At 3 in the morning, it's the NFL Today Show. Then at 4, it's the AFC wildcard game between the Indianapolis Colts and Baltimore Ravens. Well, that's going to do it for sports. We're back right after this.